Welcome back. In this video, I'll be looking at 2.4 quadratic graphs. 2.4 represents chapter 2, section 4 of the Pearson A Level Maths, Pure Maths Year 1 textbook. I'm going to start off this teaching video by explaining what a quadratic equation is. A quadratic equation is an equation of the form y equal ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are constants, a is not equal to zero. This particular quadratic equation can be expressed in vertex form. Let's have a look at the vertex form. The vertex form of this quadratic is y equal a in bracket x plus p squared plus q, where p and q are constants. The way we get the vertex form is to complete the square on this quadratic. Right, now the shape of the quadratic graph depends on the coefficient of x squared, which is the a value. If our a value is greater than zero, we have a u-shaped graph. If our a value is less than zero, we have an upside down u-shape. Consider the following two points. Here is the first point, here is the second point. Now, these two points have three different names. The first one is called the vertex. The second one is called the turning point. As you can see at these two points, the graphs turn, hence the turning point. The third one is called the stationary point. Why are these two points called the stationary point? Okay, so I'm going to explain this now. Consider two tangents to these two curves at these two points. Here is the first tangent. Here is the second tangent. Each of these tangents represent a flat horizontal line. The steepness is zero. In other words, the gradient is zero. at these two points. Hence, these two points are called stationary points. Now, how do we find the coordinates for the turning point? So we have turning point. To find the coordinates for the turning point, we go back to the vertex form. The x coordinate is calculated by setting whatever you have inside the bracket equal to zero. So x plus p is equal to zero giving me x equal minus p. So the x coordinate for the turning point, shorthand tp, is minus p. The y coordinate is whatever you have on the outside. So in this particular case, you have the positive q. So that's the y coordinate for the turning point, shorthand tp. Let's have a look at an example of sketching a quadratic graph. Example number one, sketch y equal x squared plus 2x minus 15. Right, there are four basic steps. Step number one, you look at the coefficient of x squared. Is it greater than zero or is it less than zero? That will determine the shape of the quadratic graph. Step number two, you find the x-intercepts. Step number three, you find the y-intercept. And step number four, you find the coordinates for the turning point by completing the square on your quadratic. So let's have a look at step number one. The coefficient of x squared is... 1, which is greater than 0. So the shape of the graph will be a U shape. Now I'm going to find the x-intercepts. To find the x-intercepts, I need to set y equal to 0. Set y equal to 0. This implies that x squared plus 2x minus 15 is equal to 0. We can solve this particular quadratic equation by using the method of factorization or quadratic formula or completing the square or using the equation function on our class with calculator. So if I use the equation function on my class with calculator, I get x equal minus 5, x equal 3. So the x-intercepts are minus 5, 0 and 3, 0. Let's have a look at the y-intercept. To find the y-intercept, I must set x equal to 0. Set 
x equal to 0. This implies that y is equal to 0 squared plus 2 multiplied by 0 minus 15. Hence, y is equal to minus 15. So the y-intercept will be 0 minus 15. Now I can move on and calculate the coordinates for the turning point. To do this, I need to first complete the square on my quadratic. So I've got y equal x squared plus 2x minus 15. I can go ahead and complete the square. So I have x plus 2 divided by 2 is 1, squared minus 1 squared, which is 1, minus 15. Clean this up, you get x plus 1 squared minus 16. Now to find the x coordinate for the turning point, I set whatever I have inside the bracket equal to 0. So x plus 1 equal to 0 gives me x equal to minus 1. The y coordinate for the turning point is whatever I have on the outside. So in this case, I've got the minus 16. So the turning point, shorthand TP, has coordinates minus 1, minus 16. Now I've got enough information to sketch my quadratic graph. So ladies and gents, here is my quadratic graph. I've got my U-shape, I've got my X-intercepts labelled, I've got my Y-intercept labelled, I've got my turning point labelled. I've also labelled the equation of the graph, which is Y equal X squared plus 2X minus 15. Let's have a look at another example. Example number two, sketch Y equal 4 minus 7X minus 2X squared. So the basic steps are as follows. Step number one, you have a look at the coefficient of x squared. Is it more than zero or is it less than zero? This will determine the shape of your quadratic graph. Step number two, you find the x-intercepts. Step number three, you find the y-intercept. Step number four, you find the coordinates for the turning point by completing the square on your quadratic. Let's have a look at step number one for this particular question. So the coefficient of x squared is negative 2, which is less than 0. So the shape of the quadratic graph will be an upside down U shape. Now I'm going to find the x-intercepts. To find the x-intercepts, I must set y equal to 0. This implies that 4 minus 7x minus 2x squared is equal to 0. I can solve this particular quadratic equation by using the method of factorization, the quadratic formula, complete the square, or simply using the equation function on my class with calculator. So if I use the equation function on my class with calculator, I get two solutions for x. And those two solutions are x equal minus 4, x equal a half. So the x-intercepts, ladies and gents, are minus 4, 0, and a half, 0. Okay. Now I'm going to move ahead and find the y-intercept. To find the y-intercept, I must set x equal to 0. This implies that y is equal to 4 minus 7 multiplied by 0 minus 2 in bracket 0 squared. Hence, y is equal to 4. So the y-intercept will be 0, 4. Okay, so now we can go ahead and find the coordinates for the turning point. So turning point, to find the coordinates for the turning point, I must complete the square on this particular quadratic. So I've got y equal 4 minus 7x minus 2x squared. Firstly, I'm going to rewrite this quadratic in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. So I have minus 2x squared minus 7x plus 4. I can't complete the square on this quadratic at the moment because we have coefficient of x squared, which is minus 2. So first, I must factor out the minus 2. So if I factor out the minus 2, I get minus 2 in brackets x squared plus 7 over 2x plus the 4 on the outside. So now, ladies and gents, if you look at the quadratic inside the bracket, the coefficient of x squared is 1. So we can proceed forward and complete the square on this quadratic. So I get minus 2, square bracket, x plus 7 over 2 divided by 2 is 7 over 4. Close the bracket, squared, minus 7 over 4 squared, which is 49 over 16. Close the square bracket, don't forget the plus 4 on the outside. Right, so the next step is to expand this bracket. So if I do this, I get minus 2, 
in bracket x plus 7 over 4 squared plus 49 over 8 plus 4. Okay, so now 49 over 8 plus 4 is just 81 over 8. So now I want the coordinates for the turning point. First of all, to find the x coordinate for the turning point, I must set x plus 7 over 4 equal to 0. This gives me x equal minus 7 over 4. The y coordinate for the turning point is just the 81 over 8. So now I've got enough information to sketch my quadratic graph. Ladies and gents, so here is my quadratic graph. I've got an upside down U shape, I've got my X intercepts labelled, I've got my Y intercept labelled, I've got my turning point labelled. I've also labelled the equation of the graph, which is Y equal 4 minus 7X minus 2X squared, to put the icing on the cake. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to subscribe.